Hello guys and welcome back to another edition of Mr. Stein's Art Channel. Can't have heart without art. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Please keep in mind, continue to do your work at all times. And I will see you in September. You know, we will still continue to do these videos till school ends and maybe even in the summer. Anyway, I had several requests, at least 10 or 12. I'm going to try to do a couple of them this week. I'm going to start with one, which is the lighthouse. I've done this with third graders, second graders, and even some fourth graders in the past. So it's not a super hard lesson. Ideally, you would like to have a ruler. But if you don't have one, just guesstimate with your lines the best that you can. It's more just keep a straight line. You can use the edge of a book or even the edge of a box. You can get creative with how you make a straight line. So, as always, take your time. Pause the video as you need to. Rewind it, fast forward it, flip it upside out and look for hidden messages. Just kidding, there's none of those. Eat pizza. Just kidding. Anyway, let's get started. I'm starting on the left side of my paper and I'm gonna make a little mountain. It's up to you just how big you make it. You can make it bigger than this one if you like. And then make the edge of the water. You can decide what goes in the water. Some kids have put boats. I had one kid put a crack in, pirate ships, you name it, sharks jumping out of the water, all kinds of things. I had one kid having a person parachuting into the water. It's really up to you. You get to have some fun. Now, for the lighthouse, this is the only hard part. I'm going to make sure I leave space for the top and for the light, so I don't want to go too high, so maybe around here. So I'm going to start with a diagonal line until it hits the grass. Straight line, then diagonal line until it hits the grass. That gives me the base of my lighthouse. Now, Diagonal from the corner, diagonal from the corner, straight up, straight up. See? Try to keep it symmetrical. You know if you're a little bit off, it's okay. I think mine is a little bit off as well. Connect these two with a straight line. And you've got part of your light. Then you can make a rectangle. And then... A triangle on top. If you want to make it fancier, you can kind of curve behind a bit. It'll look a bit more three-dimensional. That's really up to you. Now, I only need three lines going down. This looks like a lot, but it's really only three lines. One in the middle. This is where if you want to use a ruler and have one, you certainly can. down the middle, diagonal to the left, and diagonal to the right. See? Now I need a straight line across like this to connect these two spots. Yes, mine's a bit crooked. I'll try to straighten it a little bit. No worries if it's not perfect. Now, if I was paying attention to my own things, I would not have done it exactly that way. So I would erase that line and go diagonal and then up. Get rid of this line right here. Same with this one. Get rid of this one. Erase it if you're using a pencil. Diagonal, up. That would give you something more like this. But again, I was not being very careful and I made an oops. And with markers, you can't really erase them, which is why I always tell you in class to start with a pencil. Now you can make some straight lines going across. You can even curve them a bit if you want to. I'll keep them straight just to keep it easy. You don't have to make too many. See, that's enough. But if you want to do one more, you certainly can. Now, you can make a door down here. I've had kids make fancy three-dimensional doors out here. I'll keep it simple for right now because I have many different grades that are doing this project. 
and I'll make a simple door. Now, if you want to have a bit of fun from your door, make a little path coming down to the water. The trick is it starts more narrow by the door. It gets wider as it gets to the water. So it looks like it's getting closer to you. It's all about perspective. Things that are far away look smaller. As they get closer to you, they look bigger. Now you could add windows if you wanted to. Maybe every other box like that. See? And when you color, you'll do a red and white pattern, but it's up to you. I would definitely put some yellow up here to look like light streaming out. Now, this is the fun part. Again, if you have a ruler, you definitely want to use it. You're gonna make everything streaking out from up here. So all the lines should start where the lighthouse is. So don't start randomly here or here, but let them disappear up here first. Start here. Lighthouse, out. Lighthouse, out. See, I'm actually gonna turn my paper so I can see what I'm doing, see? Remember, your paper is not stuck on the table. So don't be shy about rotating your paper as you need to. The goal is your lines will touch all sides of the paper and make it look like it's streaming out of the lighthouse. See? Every line starts at the lighthouse and goes out and you have all of your light streaming out of your lighthouse. Now, most of my students make a pattern. They do one stripe of a lighter color, one stripe of a darker color. This one was really two dark colors, blue and purple are considered cold colors, but because it was a very light blue watercolor, I allowed them to count that as kind of a lighter color. But you should do like a red, which is considered a warm color or a hot color, and a cold color like purple or orange and blue, or yellow and purple, or red and green. One bright color, one dark color, and you're gonna make an alternating pattern all the way around using those two colors. If you have paints, you make it lighter in the middle and darker on the edges. This one was actually done with markers, and then they wet the marker using a wet paintbrush and it makes the marker bleed. And then they used a paper towel or tissue to soak up some of the color to light in the middle. If you have washable markers, that works. If the markers don't say washable, it doesn't always work so well. So this box does not say washable, so it won't really work. It might work a little bit, but not the way you'd want it to. So, don't forget to put something in your water. It could be a shark, it could be a kraken pirate ships, ghosts. If you like the Lord of the Rings, then you can make the ghost ships. You can have anything you want, the blue whale, people swimming, make somebody parachuting or jumping out of the light, light tower and diving into the water. It's really up to you. Put somebody on the path. Maybe put some trees or some flowers on the ground. There's so many ways you can modify this lesson. So have a bit of fun, be creative, Send me your examples. I cannot wait to see. This is Mr. Stein saying so long. Have a great evening. Hope you guys had a great weekend and take it easy.